So this video is going to talk about the different Google culture styles and designs that we can use when considering uh, what type we want to build. There's, you know, some have pros, some have cons, some have benefits, some are easier, some are more difficult to do. So let's get into it. So the one on the left is kind of the traditional. It's where you dig a trench, layer in your wood and twigs, uh, weeds, leaves, uh, soil, compost. Uh, and so that's kind of the traditional one that most people do. And this one's good because the water's going to run down during rains. It's going to run down into the trench and it's going to go into the wood and the wood will hold it. And as over time, as the pile breaks down, it'll hold it and release the water into the garden above it. And uh, so the one on the right, there's a little variation on it. If this one is on a hill and sometimes it's called a swale on a contour. And it's the same idea, but with these, you're building a berm on the downside. So whatever, so some of what you dig out, you make a berm to hold that water. And then depending on the shape that you make them, you can direct the water along the trench to different areas that are lower down on the hill. So some people, I've seen some people use them pretty effective to water different areas that as the water flows down, it doesn't just have to run into a certain way or flood a certain area down below. You can use it to direct the water. You can use it to control erosion. And so that's another, another type that you can consider. Um, you can also think of it as the water is running down. You kind of make them as a slightly U shape to catch that water, almost like a smiley face catching, uh, catching the runoff coming down. So that's the two main ones to consider. Also, you don't have to dig, you know, you don't have to trench them. If, uh, you know, I mean, it's very labor intensive to dig a trench. So some people just have uh, burn piles laying around and they can, instead of burning them, they convert them into these, into these Hugo cultures. And it's a great way to hold carbon. It's a great way to uh, not have to burn something. And so it's kind of the, the same style, same method, but you just uh, layer it in without digging. And uh, it's going to not hold water as much or break down as quickly, but it'll still do a pretty good job. And, you know, just a lot easier to do. And on the right, I've seen some people do where they kind of make the logs and the wood as the raised bed. And then they build the mound kind of inside of that. And around the outside, I've, even, I've seen people like stake, put stakes down into the ground to hold all of this together. And you can either think of it as like a, almost a mini log cabin type of style or kind of like a bathtub almost made out of wood that will hold everything together, hold the water. And so those are pretty cool little variations. Also, these can be really simple. You can use a raised bed. There's no reason why you can't. Um, instead of instead of going and buying a ton of, um, you know, compost or or mulch, you know, that can get expensive. You just do a hugo culture with whatever's laying around go and get some wood from around the area or, uh, you know, from tree companies. I'll go over that in different videos. You can contact tree companies. You can look on Craigslist for free wood and, you know, you can use that for your raised bed and it'll work really well. And then on the right, if you don't have a bunch of logs, you can just do branches as a base. You know, it's not going to, it's not going to, uh, you know, last as long and provide nutrients for as long as if you're using logs. But this is kind of a style that I use when I'm just expanding on old Hugo cultures that I have, or maybe if I have a new raised bed that I put together really quickly, or just a little area and I have some debris, I'll just do this as a very small scale type with the same principles. And they work really well and they get rid of a ton of green waste. 
So those are the, kind of the six main uh, design styles I wanted to talk about. And uh, yeah, so all right, I'll see you in the next video.